Hi everyone, my name is Anuj Jindal and I welcome you to this session on human resource management. So Employee State Insurance Corporation exam as we all know has been released and uh, this, uh, other than having or requiring an experience of a minimum of three years, I think it's a wonderful opportunity with more than 100, about 151 vacancies. I think it's a once in a lifetime opportunity because you will be getting to work directly at deputy director level, which is a group A post which they are offering directly. The examination also fortunately is not very difficult. We have about 10 topics in part two and one topic in part one. So let's go through number one, the course and the syllabus of ESIC, which has been offered by me in order to cover the entire syllabus. There is a 40% off going on right now especially for ESIC as well. So let's have a look at the course and the syllabus simultaneously. As you can see, the original price of the course is 12,500, but after discount, it is going to be about 7,500. There are two parts to this, followed by an interview, which is going to be tier two. Part A is English language, which is probably one of the most easy uh, levels or one of the most easy topics that you can be asked in the examination because the examination is completely objective in nature. And the second one is consists of a total of 10 topics. Human resource management is the first one out of these 10 topics. And we will be covering questions related to human resource management today. You can go through the entire syllabus. You can go through the entire course and make a decision for yourself, whether you want to go for self-study or you want to go with any of the courses. In any case, these questions are going to help you identify the important topics and prepare better for the upcoming examination. So let's get to, let's get started with the questions. You have to first, first of all, ensure that you are not only limiting yourself to the questions. You are also simultaneously covering the topics that are being covered in these questions. Focus on the topics. Do not just focus on the questions. Okay. Let us start with the first question today. The question says one of the most serious problems of internal recruitment is what? Number A, large number of candidates, B, internal resistance, C, difficulty in recruitment and D, none of the above. A very simple question. What is the topic that you have highlighted here? Internal recruitment. So what is your homework or something that you have to do today itself without any delay? Read on internal recruitment. Internal recruitment, you can cover your own because I am very certain that one of two questions are expected to come from the types of recruitment, internal as well as external. They're very important. They're regularly used by all the institutions. And as a deputy director in the organization, you will also be using it at some of the other level. Okay. Or supervising people who are going to be using it. Okay. So what exactly is internal recruitment? Do that. Go through uh, uh, the PDF. Go through, uh, you know, if you're enrolled in the course. Otherwise, you can Wikipedia it and... Uh, understand about internal recruitment. Coming back to the question, the question says, one of the most serious problems of internal recruitment, number A, large number of candidates. It can happen in external recruitment also. So it is not specific to internal recruitment. So we can eliminate it by sheer common sense as well. And this is an additional thing or something that you need to understand when you're preparing for any examination, be it RBI, SEBI, NABARD, UPSC, ESIC, ESRB, koi bhi examination de rahe ho. Common sense is not so common as my teacher used to say. As And common sense is probably one quality that can get you through your examination faster than others. Okay. Common sense ko badao. Large number of candidates can happen in external recruitment also. In fact, external mein zyada hote hain. So that cannot be one of the most serious problems. Internal resistance internal recruitment kar rahe ho to ho sakta hai internal resistance common sense kehta hai internal internal user let's keep it aside even if you don't know what exactly happens difficulty in recruitment might happen but is it one of the most serious problems that is another keyword here if there is difficulty in recruitment you go for external recruitment but it is not one of the most serious problems that you can see okay and none of the above of course can be one of the options as well. Now, what is internal resistance? Whenever you go for internal recruitment through promotions, demotions or whatever, promotion kar rahe ho, movement, horizontal movement from one department to the other. For example, sales mein hai, 
उसको आपने मार्केटिंग में डाल दिया मार्केटिंग में है यू डिसाइड टू पुट एम इन जनरल और लेट्स से कॉन्टेंट टीम है ना तो अगर इफ़ यू आर मूविंग पीपल लाइक दिस अकाउंट्स में है उसको सेल्स में डाल दिया इफ़ यू आर मूविंग देम लाइक दिस दैट ऑल्सो काउंट्स एज इधर प्रोमोशन और हॉरिजोंटल मूवमेंट उसको बोलते हैं दे माइट बी इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस एंड इट इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट सीरियस प्रॉब्लम्स वाई आपने भी देखा होगा वेन एवर देर आर प्रोमोशंस इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और वेन एवर देर टॉक्स ऑफ परफॉर्मेंस अप्रेजल कनेक्टेड विद प्रोमोशंस देर इज ऑफन पॉलिटिक्स इट गिवस राइज टू ऑफिस पॉलिटिक्स एंड दैट इज वॉट इट इज रेफरिंग टू हेयर ओके लेट्स मूव टू द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड इट इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस टेक्स प्लेस अ लिटिल अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट दिस बिकॉज इफ अ पर्सन working as a colleague is made a superior clashes and discomfort is likely to take place among other individuals and gives room gives room for resistance from their side as i said promotion se resistance hota hai okay second question there was an error here it said acquisition i have made it more clear by writing talent acquisition let's go forward with the question which of these are the functional areas of hrm functional areas kya hai hrm ke let's say you're not aware about what are functional areas of hrm बेसिकली एच आर एम का काम क्या होता है वट डज एच आर एम डू दैट इज फंक्शनल एरिया डेवलपमेंट ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट एंड ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट यू मस्ट एव हर्ड अबाउट दीज टर्म्स तो डेवलपमेंट तो आएगा ही आएगा ओके मैंटेनेंस येस ऑफकोर्स दे हेल्प इन मेंटेनिंग बोथ ह्यूमन रिसोर्स एज वेल एज द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एज अ होल टैलेंट एक्विजिशन येस ऑफकोर्स डायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड मोटिवेशन अब यहाँ पे एम्प्लॉयज की बात हो रही है तो मोटिवेशन ऑफ एम्प्लॉयज येस control there is nowhere control mentioned in human resource management studies control is an activity performed by the top level of the organization hamesha organization ka jo top level hota hai that carries out control function okay so it is not performed by the uh, human resource management department or the functionaries there so our answer will be option a 1 2 3 and okay control is not an element of hrm as it is done by the top level management in case of any deviations from the objectives in case you've gone through control i think it is going to be very very easy one more thing where which i want to highlight here which i forgot i believe is that it's very imperative that you take a piece of paper aur usme apne answers please likhte jao keep writing your answers get a paper and a pen and keep writing your answers and at the end of this session make sure that you putting in the comments in the form of comments your correct score and your incorrect score okay make sure you do that what that will do is comparison with your peers please remember please remember that it is an a, a relative examination all these government examinations judge you by your relative performance and not by your absolute performance let's say aapne 90% questions sahi kiye but there are 151 people who are who scored more than 90% then you're not good enough and how do you make those checks regularly by comparing your performance with others performance it need not be creating anxiety in you it's just basically helping you understand okay i probably still need to work harder i'm not performing as good as others there are five people here who scored 5 on 5 i scored only 3 on 5 i need to do something else let's go back to the topics let's try and read the topics and not just the question that sir discussed okay to wo comparison positive comparison bahut important hai with that let's come to the next question voluntary negotiation see this is another topic to aapko topic identify karna hai very very important with every question it's imperative that you identify the topic as well okay bahut important hai please don't miss out on that voluntary negotiation between employers and employees to settle disputes is called as iska answer aapko shayad nahi pata ho i would want you to read on it ek to aap weber approach ke upar padhiye i would also want you to read on uh, giri approach which was given by dr bb giri <coughs> padhiye it is a very important approach which was about negotiation between employers and employees in order to settle disputes in industrial disputes टॉपिक तो ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट में इंडस्ट्रियल डिस्प्यूट्स भी एक टॉपिक है ऑल दो डायरेक्टली अ पार्ट ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल रिलेशन हाउ एवर इट कैन ऑल्सो बी आस्ट इन ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट बिकॉज इंडस्ट्रियल रिलेशन में बार्गेनिंग एंड द डिस्कशन बिटवीन 
the labor as well as the management becomes a part of human resource management somehow okay so i would want that you read on this as well so another topic we have identified very important topic industrial disputes negotiations read on it okay answer as i said c giri approach next question pe aate hain which of these is not वन ऑफ द फोर सीज एसोसिएटेड विद हार्वर्ड मैप देखो ये आपको नॉर्मली कोई पढ़ाएगा नहीं बट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक यू जी सी नेट में बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है एंड आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग कि कुछ टॉपिक्स और कुछ क्वेश्चन वहाँ से उठाए जाएंगे इस एग्जामिनेशन में बिकॉज ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट इज नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंसी सो दी ओनली एग्जामिनेशन लेफ्ट एट दिस लेवल इज यू जी सी नेट सो दे आर गोइंग टू सर्टनली पिक अप क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम देर ओके हावर्ड मैप इसके बारे में यू नीड टू रीड ऑन इट एज मच एज पॉसिबल वन मोर थिंग दैट आई वॉन्ट टू हाईलाइट इज दैट दीज क्वेश्चन आर रेलिवेंट फॉर स्टूडेंट्स हो प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर आर बी आई सेबी नबार्ड ग्रेट बी इनके लिए भी बहुत रेलिवेंट है बिकॉज एच आर एम इज डायरेक्टली एंड इनडायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड हेयर एंड क्वेश्चन आर आस्ड फ्रॉम दिस एरिया इज वेल ओके कॉस्ट कॉन्ग्रुवेंस कॉम्पिटेंस एंड कंसर्न We will talk about all these four one by one. एक एक करके छोटा छोटा सा पढ़ लेंगे But the answer to this question, I hope you have marked it, and the answer is concern. Answer पे आते हैं discussion पे आते हैं इसके It says uh, Howard map. What exactly Howard map does or say? It says that HR policy can be divided into four parts. Number one, human resource flows. फ्लोज का मतलब क्या होता है कि इनकमिंग ऑफ द एम्प्लॉय एंड आउटगोइंग ऑफ द एम्प्लॉय ओके तो रिक्रूटमेंट सेलेक्शन प्लेसमेंट प्रोमोशन इनकमिंग मूवमेंट एप्रीजल एंड असेसमेंट मूवमेंट ऑफ द एम्प्लॉय प्रोमोशन मूवमेंट ऑफ द एम्प्लॉय एंड देन टर्मिनेशन मतलब एम्प्लॉय को बाहर निकालना सो ह्यूमन रिसोर्स फ्लोज इज अ पार्ट ऑफ एच आर पॉलिसी रिवॉर्ड सिस्टम्स पे सिस्टम्स मोटिवेशन एक्सेट्रा परफॉर्मेंस अप्रीजल इज डिफरेंट पे सिस्टम्स एंड मोटिवेशन इज डिफरेंट यू कैन हैव uh you know non monetary methods of motivating employees as well hr system hr policy normally does that regularly some of them are good some of them are bad but it happens third is employee influence delegated levels of authority responsibility power what is the structure of posts in the organization for example deputy director ke liye apply kar rahe ho there will be a director below above that there will be an additional director let's say between deputy and director there will, might be an additional director between below deputy director that might also happen so there is a clear hierarchical system which has been created in the organization that also is a role of hr policy and it's called as employee influence okay and the fourth one is work systems definition or design of work and alignment of people the sync between the people what they do and the design of work is called as work system so identifying ki bhaiya ye banda aaya hai iski ye responsibilities hain and this is the work that he has to do okay now the sync creating the right sync between the work as well as the people ab aap ek sales wale ho aap se main content banwaunga aapko main bolunga yaar upsc padhao kal se of course you're going to not be able to do it well you will uh, uh, you know uh, it will result in blunders so i cannot do that so that is also a part of hr policy and responsibility of the hr department okay now these four uh, 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 parts of hr policy can be divided or can be sorry uh, mentioned or written as these four terms as well commitment congruence competence cost effectiveness okay competence is human resource flow आइडेंटिफाइंग कि भाई कितना कॉम्पिटेंट है बंदा कॉस्ट इफेक्टिवनेस इन नंबर टू रिवॉर्ड सिस्टम्स कॉन्ग्रुवेंस कमिटमेंट इज नंबर थ्री वर्क सिस्टम्स एंड कॉन्ग्रुवेंस इज नंबर फोर सॉरी कमिटमेंट इज नंबर थ्री रिवॉर्ड एम्प्लॉय इन्फ्लुएंस एंड कॉन्ग्रुवेंस इज नंबर फोर वर्क सिस्टम्स ओके आई होप दिस इज क्लियर थोड़ा यहाँ पे खिचड़ी सी पक गई थी बिकॉज टू क्लोज ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन बट आई होप नाउ इट्स क्लियर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पे आते हैं रिक्रूटमेंट एंड सेलेक्टिंग पीपल हु अप्रोच ऑन देयर ओन फॉर एम्प्लॉयमेंट इज कॉल्ड एज खुद आ रहे हैं क्या होगा कैजुअल कॉलर्स सेल्फ रिक्रूटमेंट गेट हायरिंग खुद आ रहे हैं लोग खुद आ रहे हैं लोग हु अप्रोच ऑन देयर ओन फॉर एम्प्लॉयमेंट सी गेट हायरिंग आपने गेट पे बस डाल दिया कि यार हम लोग हायर कर रहे हैं एंड पीपल आर अप्रोचिंग ऑन देयर ओन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज गेट हायरिंग ऑफकोर्स नॉर्मल सी बात है गेट पर आपने चिपका दिया भाई यू आर लुकिंग फॉर पीपल एंड पीपल स्टार्ट कमिंग ऑन देयर ओन तो सेल्फ तो वो पीपल आर अप्रोचिंग ऑन देयर ओन ओके नाउ योर होमवर्क हेयर इज व्हाट टू स्टडी अबाउट कैजुअल कॉलर्स एंड सेल्फ रिक्रूटमेंट ये आपको पढ़ना है दिस इज योर होमवर्क ओके सी इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट 
आई डोंट स्पून फीड यू एट एवरी पॉइंट इन टाइम इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि आप थोड़ा बहुत गूगल करना सीखें थोड़ा बहुत विकीपीडिया पढ़ना सीखें थोड़ा बहुत आइडेंटिफाई करना सीखें वॉट इज़ राइट एंड वॉट इज़ रॉन्ग एंड स्टडी ऑन योर ओन साइमल्टेनियसली एज वेल ओके तो उसमें तो ये सारी चीज़ें पढ़ाई ही गई हैं बट इफ़ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग ऑन योर ओन थ्रू सेल्फ स्टडी देन इट बिकम्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके ओके सो दिस इज ऑल फॉर टूडे सेशन आई होप द सेशन वॉज यूजफुल आई होप यू लर्न समथिंग न्यू और जो भी मैंने आपको बताया है दैट यू हैव टू फॉलो प्लीज फॉलो इट प्लीज रिसर्च ऑन इट इमीडिएटली आफ्टर दिस सेशन स्पेंड अबाउट थर्टी मिनट्स फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स वट एवर टास्क यू हैव पुट दम असाइड जो भी यहाँ पे पढ़ोगे पुट दम इन योर ऑनलाइन नोट्स आई कैन एसोटेन एंड आई कैन गारंटी दैट इट इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी हेल्पफुल और यहाँ से क्वेश्चन आएंगे ही आएंगे okay so this was all for this session all the very best guys take care bye bye